This summer, some UT student leaders are looking for ways to make sure their campus is inclusive when everyone gets back from break. This after a new law passed banning diversity, equity and inclusion offices, staff and initiatives at public universities and colleges. Our Jayla Washington takes an in-depth look now at the work they're doing. When DEI is under attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back. Just steps away from where lawmakers voted to ban college DEI initiatives. Stand up, fight back. These UT students are loudly disagreeing with the new law. I'm with Austin Students for Democratic Society. Now, Jules Lattimore and some of his classmates Howdy. Yeah, are just getting started with their plans for a workaround. Want you can click on this QR code to move forward with DEI work. There is like a, a greater coalition at UT, Students for DEI. That, that we you know we we do some work with. Lattimore says uh, that coalition is made up of cultural groups. So we reached out to the Black Student Alliance. We First, they're to trying to spread awareness about the new DEI laws in Texas, so they can come up with ways to keep those initiatives around. Work around in terms of language to keep things like the Multicultural Engagement Center, Gender and Sexuality Center open and keep, you know, DEI related staff. UT Students for a Democratic Society, or SDS, says it's been watching what's going on in Florida. It became the first state to ban DEI initiatives. Its president tells me this is helping craft their solutions-driven plan. SDS has been really inspired by the Tampa Five. That's what a group of students from the SDS chapter at the University of South Florida is being called. The group is working with other student groups on campus and outside activist organizations to try to keep DEI efforts alive. Our hope is that making demands for what our university can do. I really appreciate your time. Jayla Washington, KXAN News. And the college DEI ban goes into effect in Florida in September and in January next year here in Texas. Since this is all new, there's no way to tell yet if students' efforts to maintain DEI are working or will work just yet. UT's president in a recent memo to the university said, quote, we are actively working to understand the new legal framework and how the UT system will implement its oversight under the new legislation. He goes on to say, while I can imagine there is uncertainty and anxiety regarding Regarding the future, I ask for your patience as we begin this work and await further guidance based on UT system policy later this summer. And going in depth, the Texas colleges aren't alone in the ban on DEI offices at public universities. According to the Chronicle of Higher Education, 38 anti-DEI bills have been introduced in 21 states. And as of June 23rd, six of those bills have been signed into law. Now, the states that currently have laws against DEI offices include Texas and Florida, as we mentioned, Tennessee and North Dakota.